I did a thing. On Monday morning, we were met with something that couldn't be more Monday-ish. Uh, this stupid commercial from Miller Lite. Here's a little known fact. Women were among the very first to brew beer ever. Says you. From Mesopotamia to the Middle Ages to colonial America, women were the ones. And who do you think they were brewing it for? And stewing the brewing. Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. Oh yeah, they just forced us all into these bikinis with all of these dollars and, and, and all the money and fame and everything, attention that these girls were going to get back then. They just forced them to do the bikini shots. Wow. Yeah, wow. Look at this shit. Wild. It's time beer made it up to women. So today... Yeah, it was wild. We had wild times. We had a good time. We didn't lecture everybody about every little thing. <laughs> In fact, it was so funny. Uh, I believe Salty Cracker called her a toe. Shape of a toe. <laughs> Whose toe, though? Hey, Miller Lite is on a mission to clean up not just their shit, but the whole beer industry's shit. Oh yeah, like we made them responsible for this. And they made themselves responsible for cleaning up all of the shit, if you will. Miller Lite has been scouring the internet for all this shit and buying it back. So yeah, I'll bet they are. And they can turn it into good shit for women brewers. Literally, good shit. How Nobody else, just women brewers. <laughs> yep. Polly. <laughs> oh, Ranger, yeah, that's pretty that's pretty funny right there. <laughs> what you ask? Ladies, take it away. First we turn the batch into compost. Then we feed compost to worms. Push out beautiful fertilizer. That good helps farmers grow quality hops. Which is then donated to women brewers to Yeah, quality hops that have actually ingested all of the chemicals and the inks and the colors and all the other stuff that they use this stuff for if this is what they're using to make this compost i don't know if i'd want to eat or drink anything that was used with compost made with magazine papers if you will because i mean isn't that just like a bunch of chemicals and like they all had the slick covering on them and lots of inks and lots of chemicals and stuff uh, eh, okay i think i'll pass on these but go ahead they make their own really good shit. but there's definitely more shit out there in your attic in the garage in your parents basement send any shit you got into miller light and they'll turn that into good shit too oh they're scouring the internet to buy this shit back but they want you to send yours to them free hello so here's to it. Oh, what was that? Because without us, there would be no beer. <laughs> without women, there would be no nothing. No people, anyway. All right, so we also talked about something that should go viral. And as I can see, there's already a huge backlash about this lecture, about a substance that folks usually use while relaxing or partying. You know, trying to escape their already drudge of a life sometimes. Relaxing with friends, maybe playing some golf or some tennis or some b-ball together, you know. Meeting up, having drinks with family and friends. Most times, though, it's hard-working men. And I mean, in the blazing sun for hours digging ditches and nailing roofs, riveting girders, you know, real man stuff. The stuff that makes them all sweat. They have to take a shower when they first get home and take off their shoes. Cementing isn't real easy either. And because of the fact that the heat from that and the heat, yeah, cement and stuff like that, that's not, so these are the men that actually make the world go around and keep it at least growing and working or in good repair for the most part. Uh, let's see. You guys are really mad at uh, Fog this time. <laughs> That's all you guys are talking about. Brad Allen says, didn't she do topless pics for something stupid? Yeah, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. Uh, in fact, the backlash on this new shit video aptly named, I might add, but the backlash on this was so bad that the chief marketing officer, Sophia Colucci, 
Uh, she's a very pretty blonde lady of Molson Coors that was evidently in charge of this campaign. They deleted their LinkedIn profiles within hours of its rediscovery and backlash. Uh, the video is actually, uh, this video actually came out a month before the Bud Light video with DM. But when I did some research on this fiasco, I found out that the comedian, Lana Glazer, the person you saw that looks like a toe. <laughs> Has anyone ever heard of her? She's supposedly a comedian. But, yeah, I bet she's fun at parties. <clears throat> uh, but it turns out that both her, Lana Glazer, and Sophia Colucci are both extremely huge hippie, hypocrites about the bikini bullshit. As if, you, as if you look up their names and bikini, you will see thousands of pictures on social and, and, and all over the net in bikinis. For them to get attention. In fact, unfunny Lana, now that you mentioned, you had mentioned that Brad Allen, that she did some topless pics. She actually did. She did a video without her boot, without anything on top, jiggling around with some kind of cartoon over her for the DNC. Vote for the Democrats. Vote for the Democrats. So there's that. So I made this video in response to all of the feminist crap that no longer speaks to me or for the likes of me, and frankly, most women, most women that I know of anyway, and I think this videos and others like it should go viral. And again, this was 451 Actual's idea. He said, now it's time for the women to start protesting this. So this is what I did, and here comes my protest to Miller Lite Premiere. Ready, buddy? Everybody hit record? Everybody ready to hit record? <laughs> Here we go. You know, it's bad enough that over the years, these big companies have been telling us, buy, 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 consume, consume, consume. You'll be better for it. You'll be nicer for it. You'll be more liked for it. And now they're telling us the exact opposite for the exact same reason, especially the beer companies at the behest of women. Not uterus havers, not bleeders, not birthers, women. And we've been being told these things by people that have no business speaking to us or speaking for us at all. Today, as a woman, I'm going to show you what I think about your woke beer commercials. They didn't work on me back then, and this crap's certainly not going to work on me now. For all you women out there, and to the big-ass companies that can't seem to get their shit together, these are for you. Safety first. Put that in your stein and drink it. They say that you don't need a gun to fuck things up. Well, I just proved it to you. So ladies, join me in the boycott of Miller Lite now, as they think that they can not only tell us how we are, but also use us to apologize for shitting on their face. Stop buying from these companies that hate us. All right, so ladies, again, you didn't need a gun. In fact, they were talking about, well, we need to do the same thing that, that uh, Kid Rock did to Bud Light. I'm like, nah, why? 
And 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 even even four five one actually said, well, you don't really need a gun because I actually don't have enough land to actually do that kind of thing. I would have to have taken this to somebody else's land to do this if I wanted to do it with a gun. Um, but I love the way that that made them pop, and I I, I actually got a new machete. That machete is new. My my old man got it for me for Mother's Day. Aren't I aren't I blessed? I love it. <laughs> Uh, need to sample that pop sound for the intro of a song. Cool. Do it, man. Go for it. That's why I played it. I'm going to also upload it after the show. Hopefully, uh, we can share it and make it go viral because both of these big-ass beer companies, in fact, Miller Lite literally profited off of the problem with Bud Light. And then that's why this got noticed. And it was like... Really, you're gonna tell your your you're gonna try and make it up to women who don't really give two shits about this beer to begin with. I don't. I, I, to be honest with you, I don't know a lot of women that drink this kind of beer, these light beers. In fact, my very one of my favorite. Well, most of the friends I know drink wine, but I like a good dark beer. I can't stand light beer. Thank you. I am blessed. Maybe Paps Blue Ribbon will become king. <laughs> uh, you never know. Actually, the one beer that I keep hear, hearing being mentioned, and it's weird because I always thought this, this was a, a Chinese beer for some dumb reason, but it's Yingling. It looks like a Chinese, it looks like a Chinese name. Stupid chat keeps freezing. I'm sorry, Sparky. I don't know why. I'm sure it's not my pro my fault. <laughs> but yeah, ain't I special? I love my I love my new machete. And uh, he thought that was pretty cool too. He was actually standing behind me, and he's like, "Damn, that was awesome." <laughs> so you saw why you saw why I like I love my new machete, and of course that's one of my protectors, um, in my home. So as far as that goes, and of course you see, you see the jungle that I live in. So, <laughs> but can you imagine that every social event and an event that is meant to be, or always has been fun becomes a tedious, boring, even snobbish affair where most common folks probably wouldn't want to go anyway and would never be welcome. Imagine these holier than thou twats trying to convince everybody that they're the ones drinking this beer with the fax, fancy cocktail glasses. Pinkies up. Pinkies up. Then you're yeah, right. <laughs> but again, that ain't happening. Although with the dopier that with the with the dopier that our elites seem to be getting, uh, maybe this earth will see that. You know, in fact, they'll be so dopey, that's the only thing that they can brew. Or that somebody can brew. That's the only thing, that's the only alcohol that they'll be able to. And of course, you know damn well, they're going to prohibit it for everyone else at that point. That's just the way that shit works. And, and we're watching it day after day, we're watching it more and more. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if they're actually trying to ruin these companies on purpose. Just for that reason. They they've been they've been choosing and uh, uh, the winners and the losers of all this stuff for at least the last three years now that I know of. What do you think these lockdowns and shit were all about? All right. I also found that they're trying real hard now. Nobody I don't I haven't seen anybody else mention this, but I, I also see that they're trying real real hard now to attract the Hispanic population. Uh, this just came out a month ago. And it's Bud Light with Chilada and Tajin. So, but you notice there's no spokesperson. There's nobody talking to them. It's just a can and some extra ingredients. And why is it that why is it that we get all these people waving their fingers at us, 
but they get just what the product is, which is how they should fucking advertise to begin with. So, <laughs> and of course, this per here, this here. Now, I'm not not an expert or anything on it, but it looks more like a a, a mojito than a beer to me. All right, don't forget, phone lines are open. I've already gotten two phone calls. That's fantastic. Super Latinx gay beer. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Actually, I noticed I'm I'm looking at the difference here, though. We get these people that are lecturing us either to accept them as something they're not, or to to apologize to to women that we didn't ask for, we didn't even really know or care until they brought this shit up. Um, but they only get the product. That's what I mean. We get lectured and they get a product. They get a. It's like, all right. So you're you you don't really want us to drink the beer for the beer anymore. In our case. You know, we have to be lectured on why it's cool to buy that beer or why you should listen to their woke bullshit. It just, like I say, it doesn't make any sense to me. We get we get lectured and everyone else just gets the product. Hey, buy our product. Look at what we got here for you. So, in Texas, chiladas are a beer Bloody Mary, not that shit. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I, don't I wouldn't know... Again, I don't drink light beer.